In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access your course, it might be an online course, and the, the basic parts uh, and tools of the course. The waffle will provide you select a course where you can see any courses you're taking. And if you've pinned any courses because you have them this semester, they will pop up to the top. I'm going to click off of that and just show you that I've already pinned this particular course. And I can go in by clicking on this little icon here of the mountain. You can also view all courses underneath here. So let's go into the course. Across the top, we have various tools. Course Home will bring us back to the main page of the course. We have the content or the resources, kind of like the textbook of the course. We have the class list where we can see students that are taking the class, as well as it gives us an option to email our teacher. We have assignments. This is formerly known as the Dropbox. We have discussions, and we might have many other tools, including things like the quiz tool, the calendar. Okay, in the announcement area, your teacher is going to be telling you when you're taking an e-learning course what you should be working on. Just like a teacher would have an action plan or they would tell you in class what they want you to work on during the class or for homework. This is where you're going to look to find out what you should be doing. And your teacher is probably going to give you a list of things that they want you to work on. And they might have links to specific things they want you to do. And they could have due dates listed here as well. Some teachers might also have attachments to files. So look through that, and this is the most recent news. If there's any new news, it will be on top, and if there's any old news, it will be underneath. So if you get behind in your course, you always want to take a look at all the announcements and kind of look through from where you started off. Next, let's have a look at content. The content in your course might be provided by your teacher or it might be content that is coming from the Ministry of Education and a branch called TILO. Your teacher might then modify the content. So I'm going to take a look at this particular content, which is content that is coming from the Ministry of Education. I'm going to take a look at Unit 1. And when I look at Unit 1, it's going to give me some information about what Unit 1 is all about. And across the top, I can look at the introduction as well as I can look at the learning goals if I would like to look over those again. It will always ask you to go through them once and close. And you shouldn't have to uh, close the learning goals after you come back. Uh, next, you can jump ahead to one of the activities. So I'm going into activity one next. And if I would like to, I can listen to this activity. So they've recorded. The Ministry of Education has recorded this entire activity if you would like to just listen to it and um, kind of read and listen at the same time or just simply listen. You also have the introduction and learning goals again if you would like it. Across the, the top right you have the minds on action and consolidation parts of the lesson and you can of course still scroll through them. So this is a lot of stuff, very much like if you had a textbook, there would be tons of work in a textbook. And just because your teacher gives you a textbook, say for a math class, doesn't mean you start going in page one, unit one, and start doing every single question. Always refer back to the plan that the teacher has given you. And usually with Waterloo Catholic Teacher School Board, we will use the announcement tool to tell you what particular items we want you to work on. So at some point, your teacher might have you handing in some, something. But again, always refer back to the announcements so you know what you need to work on. And you might have some links here for things that you may be going to. And if you find that one of the links doesn't work or there is a problem with one of the links, please go ahead and discuss that with your teacher. Down here, it says submit your work. And that will take you to the assignment tool. Remember again that you're not just doing everything that's in the content area, that you would want to check with your teacher to make sure that the activities are ones that you should be doing. And you can do that also by looking at the announcements. I'm going to close this activity one. And I'm just going to go back to the table of contents. So you can see now an overview. This is like your interactive textbook for the course. And right now, this teacher is only providing unit one. If for some reason you need more than Unit 1, you would want to contact your teacher to get access to more resources in the course. And that's an overview of some of the basic tools for your, your class, as well as the announcements tool and the content tool.